Hello friends, I am Shushant Raghavan. Welcome to Technical and Quality Session. For understanding the technical requirements and quality standards in clothing industry, making a sustainable garment, I have good practical experience in the apparel manufacturing sector. My skills are CAD pattern making, sample development, technical requirements, and measuring quality performance. Today's session is about introduction of industrial engineering in apparel industry. For more sessions like this, do like and subscribe to my channel. Now let's begin the presentation. Industrial Engineering Introduction of Industrial Engineering Industrial Engineering To simplify work and to continue improvement of productivity is called Industrial Engineering. Frank and Lillian Gilbert, known as a parent of motion study, brought together two of the mainstreams of management thinking. They followed the pioneering work in time and motion studies began by Frederick Winslow Taylor and they developed the study of workplace psychology. Industrial Engineering Frederick Winslow Taylor, an American mechanical engineer known as a father of IE and time study, in 1911 Taylor summoned up his efficiency techniques in his book The Principles of Scientific Management which in 2001 Fellows of the Academy of Management voted the most influential management book of the 20th century. His pioneering work in applying engineering principles to the work done on the factory floor was instrumental in the creation and development of the branch of engineering that is now known as industrial engineering. Objective of industrial engineering Increasing productivity Eliminating wastage and non-value added operation, effective use of resources. The scope of industrial engineering, the two steps of finding the best way to do a job and then timing to find out how long it takes are referred to as motion study and time study. Engineers are thought to do the motion study first as any time study data on incorrect motion is not of much value. Some uses of industrial engineering are costing by knowing how long it takes to perform a job, the total time and cost for manufacturing a product can determine sales price. Manpower planning by knowing how many units one person can produce, it can be determined how many people are needed to produce a given volume. Machine requirements The number of machines required can be determined by knowing the output from one machine. Production planning Time study enables us to measure the capacity of a plant to pre-decision as how much volume to load into a plant that can be made. List of other things industrial engineers do. Plant layout. The location of machines and equipment to provide the best workflow. Production flow system. Determine the best way to move work from job to job, individual pieces, tight bundles, on trolley etc. Missions and attachments. What missions are best for a given job? What attachments simplify the job? Pay systems. Deciding the best way to pay people for their work effort. Straight time. Peace work. Split initiative. Group initiative. Straight time bonus, etc. Operator performance. Responsibility for operators achieving expected performance levels. Operator training Responsibility for program of training new employees List of other things industrial engineers do Production control system Design system of measuring and controlling production flow through plant Cutting room Engineering jobs in cutting room for incentive plan Also might include program to increase material utilization Quality control Design program to measure and control quality of workmanship in plant. Distribution. Engineering warehouse and shipping facilities. Payroll system. Design payroll procedure to handle pay system and generate necessary cost reports. Others. Plant safety maintenance supplies. The benefits of industrial engineering. Work simplification. Increased productivity increased profits and increased earnings. Applications of industrial engineering 
the roles and responsibilities of the industrial engineering department are not just limited to timing operators and making operation bulletins as it is only a part of the job the i function can contribute significantly to improvement in working and productivity of almost all the departments of apparel manufacturing merchandising in merchandising section the industrial engineer can work closely in following product analysis determine the optimum method of construction to achieve required finished product efficiently establish the operation sequence operation bulletin specify the equipment type and work aids to be used thank you for watching for more sessions like this do like and subscribe to my channel please comment your valuable thoughts and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified when i post a new presentation bye have a good day